Before you go and start thinking of which new Infinite Note 12 series you should get, because the new lineup here is kind of confusing, you might want to watch this video till the end. Hey guys, Fetch Take Up here, and in this video, I will be unboxing and reviewing the all new Infinix Note 12 G96. Does that name make any sense, considering the fact that the top tier version also comes with the MediaTek Helio G96 processor? I don't know, but we're going to find out soon. So, the new Note 12 series comes in four variants. The Infinix Note 12 VIP, which is the top tier version. Then we have the Infinix Note 12 G96. Then the standard Note 12 and the Note 12 i. The one that we have here today is the Infinix Note 12 G96 and it cost about 132,100 Naira or $310. Apart from the difference in camera department, battery size and charging capabilities, there's no substantial difference between the Note 12 G96 and the Note 12 VIP. Okay, so starting up with the unboxing experience, the Infinix Note 12 G96 box comes bundled with the device itself and the most needed accessories like the 33 watt fast charger, a USB Type-C charging cable, the earpiece, a SIM card removal tool, a transparent silicone case, a free 1.5 GB MTN data voucher, X pack leaflet and 1X Go card for X club registration. Now moving on to the design and build quality, the ultra slim design offers a slick composition that embodies impeccable form and function according to Infinix. The first black color that I have here actually looks very interesting. It has a matte finish with some design pattern that looks cool. I really love how beautiful it looks. The camera bomb has this reflection thing going on that reflects according to how light hits it. I like how it doesn't show fingerprint marks or smudges which is always a good thing. It's a device that is made out of plastic and to be honest the design here can fool you into thinking it has a glass ray. For a mid-range device it feels and looks like a premium smartphone. It has a plastic frame and a plastic ray which isn't obvious anymore because almost every smartphone in this price bracket is made out of plastic and if you should ask me plastic is more durable. For a 6.7 inches device it doesn't feel too big or uncomfortable to hold. On the right side of the device, we've got the power button and the volume rocker keys. The power button also serves as the fingerprint scanner and it is fast and very responsive all the time. To the left, we've got a SIM card tray that can take dual nano SIM and a micro SD card. At the bottom, we've got a headphone jack, a microphone, a USB Type-C charging port and the speaker grill as you can see here. There's another speaker located at the top of the device giving it the dual speaker. Speaking of the dual speakers here, it is loud but be aware that it can rattle a bit at max volume. I will call it decent even though it lacks bass. Now moving to the rear of the device, we have a triple camera setup that comprises a 50 megapixels main sensor which is one of the major differences between this and the Note 12 VIP. There's a 2 megapixel step camera, a VGA camera and a quad flashlight. To be frank, those extra two sensors don't really count that much. What really matters is the 50 megapixels main sensor which we're going to talk about later in the video. The front of the device houses a 6.7 inch 1080p AMOLED display. It's a punch hole style that houses a 16 megapixel selfie camera. The front of the device also houses an LED flashlight for selfies. The Infinix Note 12 G96 comes with a large 6.7 inch full HD plus display, which Infinix called True Color AMOLED display. That being said, it's a 1080 by 2400 resolution with a pixel density of 393. While the display is sharp and bright and very enjoyable to watch YouTube videos and consume media content in general, it lacks a faster refresh rate. It caps at just 60 Hz and it makes scrolling seem slow. I'm sure this might not matter to a lot of people, but if you are someone that has experienced a faster refresh rate on a smartphone, this will definitely bother you. I'll say though that there are cheaper phones with 90Hz display, so the fact that we don't have one here is disappointing considering the price you're paying for this. Moving on to the performance aspects, the Infinix Note 12 G96 comes with a MediaTek Helio G96 octa-core CPU, hence the name Note 12 G96. It's a 12 nanometer processor which in today's standard is considered old. It is still a capable mid-range gaming processor and it shows here. I ran some benchmarks and the test result shows moderate numbers that are capable of handling most 3D games at low to medium graphics settings. As usual, I played Call of Duty Mobile and the gameplay was okay with adjusted graphics settings. Raw performance is fine with 8 gigs of RAM and with memory fusion technology which add extra 3 gigs of RAM making it 11 gigabytes in total. Multitasking, opening apps and general performance is super amazing. 
However, when scrolling through the user interface, it isn't as snappy as I might like it to be due to the lack of a faster refresh rate. Android 12 is what comes with the Note 12 G96 but with a new custom software which is Infinix XOS 10.6. It comes with some new features and user experience just as we saw on the Infinix Note 11. A swipe from the top right corner reveals quick setting panel, then a swipe to the left reveals the notification center. We also have some group folders for different apps. The setting menu also sees some UI changes which look similar to what we've seen on previous Infinix devices. Bluetooth is still present but not as intrusive as it used to be in the past. You might want to do a little bit of housekeeping by uninstalling some of the unwanted apps for a much better experience. Now let's move on to the camera. The 50 megapixels camera that graces the back of this device which we've already seen on other Infinix devices like the Hot 12 released recently. I made a video about that device and I will have links to it in the description box below. The Note 12 G96 captures good looking daylight images with a satisfactory amount of detail, punchy colors, excellent dynamic range and accurate exposure, which is something the Hot 12 didn't get right using the same sensor. However, sharpness could use some improvement at least when it comes to consistency. I love how detailed and saturated most of the images appear which is somewhat closer to real life looking images. Portrait shots looks good as well but not the best that I've seen from a mid-range device. The selfie camera is also decent but dynamic range suffers a little bit with blown up backgrounds. However, I like how the 16 megapixels still manages to retain some details and also like the color reproduction. Kindly go through the images and tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. When it comes to video, it shoots video in 2K resolution with no stabilization and I must say I am very happy with the result, especially on how it handles dynamic range. Alright guys, so this is uh, a video from the front facing camera of the Infinix Note 12 G96 currently shooting in 2K, uh, 30 frames per second and from what I'm seeing here, the footage looks okay. However. Uh, dynamic range seems to be struggling as you can see the sky is completely blown away um, uh, but the rest of the video looks fine uh, what do you guys think let me know down in the comment section below right one of the highlights of this device has to be the 5000 mAh battery on here that is very reliable and decent. It can comfortably last the entire day if you are an average user. To be frank, battery is not an issue on here. And for charging, unlike the Note 12 VIP that is very fast, completing a full charge at 17 minutes according to Infinix, the 33 watt fast charger of the Infinix Note 12 G96 did well for a budget device. It took the Infinix Note 12 G96 1 hour and 15 minutes to charge from 0 to 100%, which is okay. And and impressive now the most selling point of the note 12 g96 has to be the helio g96 gaming processor a slick body design plenty of ram with an impressive performance a respectable battery life and android 12 out of the box which i pray gets an update to android 13. as i said initially the note series this year can get a little confusing and i can't say for sure that it is an upgrade to the note 11 pro from last year but if you're looking for the best device and the most value for your money to choose from the new lineup, the Note 12 G96 might be the best option for you because I feel like the Infinix Note 12 VIP is a little bit more expensive. I would highly recommend you check out the Infinix Note 12 G96 and also share your thoughts with me about it in the comment section below. If you enjoyed watching this video, give me a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the very next one. Bye-bye.